Hello guys, this is FairBinaryOptions.com and I'm looking at uh, continuing the Binary Options Academy and one of the projects there, one of the latest ones are um, based on or are looking at trying to explain to you the um, fundamental analysis and what really make markets move like it is this market here, this is the Euro US dollar. This is showing how to trade binary options in NFP days and first of all I would like to tell you what the NFP is. Well the NFP is of course the non farm payrolls and the non farm payrolls are or is the most important economic data of piece of economic data that is being released in the United States. Basically it is showing the jobs in create economy jobs extremely vital because the central bank, the Federal Reserve and the United States when they are coming to, um, to uh, establish the interest rate they are looking at the jobs data and the inflation. The Federal Reserve is the only bank in the world, I'm talking about the bigger banks of course, the bigger, uh, the bigger economies, that has a dual mandate. The mandate of the Federal Reserve in the United States is to keep inflation below or close to 2% and to create job, that jobs. That means, that means that markets actually will try to anticipate the future move of the Federal Reserve in the United States every time the jobs data or the inflation, the CPI, is going to be released. Now here on uh, fairbinaryoptions.com we have under the Binary Options Academy project also, also the CPI or inflation and we explain there how to interpret it and uh, what to look for when the inflation or the CPI is released so make sure you check that one as, uh, as well you just go on the website and see what it means. Now this is the non-farm employment change it is released on the first Friday of every month first Friday of every month and together with the non-farm payrolls number the unemployment rate is, uh, is being uh, released in the same time. Now this because, uh, because the Federal Reserve is one of the biggest banks in the world, biggest central banks in the world and uh, because they look at the, uh, at the uh, unemployment rate and they also look at the, uh, the actual jobs data when establishing the interest rate so because of that Every time you're looking at um, interpreting or, or trading the markets when the NFP is coming, you should expect extreme levels of volatility, extreme levels of volatility. Look here what we had on the NFP this, uh, this last Friday. We had a 6.6% or 6.7% it was the previous unemployment rate. The forecast was for the unemployment rate to drop to 6.6% the actual to be uh, it turned out to be 6.3 percent so the unemployment rate the lower the unemployment rate the better for an economy it means that the economy is moving it means that the economy is expanding and it is quite bullish for for the currency of course and a lower unemployment rate is uh, benefic for for the economy of course the lower the unemployment rate this comes with stronger employment numbers so the actual change in the non-farm employment and basically the jobs being created out of uh, except those of those uh, in uh, in uh, the agricultural uh, sector those are better to be the biggest um, as big as possible so we had the previous 200 203 uh, K or thousand jobs created in the United States then uh, the forecast was 216 only with the actual to turn out to be 288 so quite a strong uh, quite a strong number to be to was released on Friday however what did the markets what did the markets do well it is to it is to be mentioned that non-farm payrolls whenever they are coming and they are being released it is said that you should look for at least one twist until the real uh, the real direction in the market comes. Why? Because trading in general and trading especially on such important events is being made by robots or by algos as they are as they are being also called. And these algos 
are instructed to buy or to sell, you know, the high frequency trading. So they are instructed to buy or to sell every time or at the moment the release is coming. Well, if the release, if the release is uh, uh, better, the actual better than uh, than the, than the forecast, they are instructed to buy. If the unemployment rate is better, is uh, coming uh, lower than the forecast, they are instructed to buy, and vice versa, of course. This is why you see the moves in an instant on the market and therefore it is difficult to trade based on based on that uh, on that news however letting uh, letting the letting the news passing a bit by and then going and jump jump to uh, for for taking a trade would be the most appropriate and i would like on the second part here on this project on this mini educational series to look at how markets reacted on the previous um, on the previous um, on this release on Friday on the euro US dollar and the US Japanese yen and try to figure out what they did and how it's best to trade binary options when the NFP the all-important NFP is released stay tuned please for the second part